Hi, today I want to share how to crochet this beautiful alpine stitch headband. We will begin with a chain and then we will work our way back and forth with this beautiful alpine stitch. If you just follow my instructions, you will have this headband done in no time. So let me show you how to do it. First, a little bit about the materials. I have used this gorgeous alpaca wool. It's 75% alpaca and 25% wool. And I've used almost one skein of this. This is what I've left after the headband. Not much. So about 50 grams I've used in total. It's a DK weight. Then I've used a 4mm crochet hook, some scissors, and finally a tapestry needle to weave in the ends and sew the headband together. We begin with a slip knot, so make a loop with your yarn and take the long end of the yarn behind the loop. Then grab it from the middle with your hook and pull. Then we create a chain, sew your yarn over and pull through the loop. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. We keep chaining until the chain reaches around your head. So just continue. It has to fit loosely around the head. And for me that is 100 chains. So I did 100 and we will now be working into the chain. So skip the first two chains and then begin working from this third chain. You yarn over and do a double crochet in the third chain. So insert the hook, then yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through, two loops, and yarn over, pull through, two loops. Then do a double crochet in the next chain. So yarn over, insert the hook in the next chain, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through, two, and yarn over, pull through, two. So continue with one double crochet in every chain all the way across. Yarn over, insert the hook, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We chained up 100 and skipped the first two, so you should have 98 double crochet when you're all the way across. For all my alpaca yarn projects, I only use this yarn from gorgeous alpacas. They're a small alpaca farm located in England, and they produce the most amazing blends I've ever tried. I really love everything about it, but especially the smell. Alpaca is so great because it's stronger than mohair and finer than cashmere, and then it's smoother than silk but softer than cotton, and then it's more breathable than thermal knits. If you're planning a project with alpaca yarn, I definitely recommend checking out gorgeous alpacas. And then you have this first row of double crochet. To turn this row, you chain one. So yarn over and pull through and then turn the work. Then you skip this first turning chain and in the second one you do a single crochet. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Then a single crochet, so insert your hook, do a single crochet. And then do one single crochet in every stitch all the way across. And that was the second row. Now we chain two to turn the work. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And then turn the wick. We will now have this chain two and then we have the double crochet or the chains from the previous row down here from the first row. We will skip these and then move on to this second stitch 
from the previous row and do a front post double crochet into this one. So you yarn over the needle and then go down from the previous row and grab a double crochet down there. So this lies in front of your hook. Then you yarn over and pull through and pull up a bit and then yarn over, pull through two and yarn over, pull through two. So now you have a front post double crochet. We will now do a regular double crochet in the next stitch. So yarn over and insert your hook up top and do a regular double crochet on the top of your work. And then in the next one, we will do a front post double crochet. So you skip this one because this belongs to this double crochet you just did. And then in this one down here, you would do a front post double crochet. So yarn over and go down here, grab this one from the previous row, and yarn over and pull through, pull up a bit, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Then a regular single uh, double crochet in this next one. So yarn over, insert your hook in this next set, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, oops, and yarn over, pull through two. Then a front post double crochet in this next one from the previous row. So yarn over, go down and grab this one from the previous row and then do a front post double crochet into this. So every other stitch you do a front post double crochet and every other stitch you do a regular double crochet all the way to the end of this row. And after this row, we can already see the beautiful alpine stitch forming. So we did a front post double crochet and the final stitch out here, that will be a regular double crochet in the last one. So yarn over and do a regular double crochet to finish the row up. That's it. So now you chain one and turn the work. And then we skip the first one, the first turning chain and do a single crochet in the next one. So one single crochet in the second stitch and then one single crochet in every stitch all the way across. So this row will just be a repetition again, one single crochet in every stitch. When we're all done with the row of single crochet, we will now chain two to turn the work. And we will now do another row with these front post double crochet and double crochet in between. First, this chain two counts as the stitch on top of this down here. So we will move on to this next stitch over here and where the front posts are in the previous row, on top of them, we will do double crochet and where we just did the regular double crochet in between these front posts, this one, we will do a front post double crochet. So go down and grab this post from the previous row to do a front post double crochet. So first a double crochet on top of this front post double crochet. So yarn over and insert the hook on top and do a regular double crochet. And then for this next stitch, we will do a front post double crochet in this double crochet from the previous row in between of these. So yarn over and go down, grab this 
double crochet from the previous row and do your front post double crochet and then in this next stitch this is a front post double crochet so we will do a regular double crochet on top of this stitch so yarn over and insert your hook on top of this stitch and do a regular double crochet And then this next one, you will do a front post double crochet. So go down, grab this one down here and do a front post double crochet. And then a regular double crochet in the next one. And then a front post double crochet in the next one. So you see the pattern and you see the beautiful alpine stitch. So continue with one double crochet, then a front post in this one, then a double crochet all the way to the other end. When you're at the other end, you chain one and turn the work and then you do another row of single crochet then you turn again and then over here you of course begin with a front post double crochet just like this row down here so for the next row after the row of single crochet you will repeat this row down here and then for the next this one up here and then you have these beautiful alpine stitch so I continued repeating these two rows until it measured about nine centimeters and I finished on a row of single crochet so now I want to put the headband together so I cut the yarn leaving a bit of a tail to weave in and then I pull out the hook through the loop and then I connect the ends of the headband so I can sew them together and grab the tapestry needle and then I want to do the mattress stitch when I sew it together and we begin on the edge making this as straight as possible like that and then I want to do the mattress stitch I think that is the most invisible stitch I know and it's pretty easy to do so you just connect the two ends of the headband and then you have your thread over here then you push your needle in between the two layers and then from down and up the opposite side And then the thread is over here. So now you push your needle in between the two layers and from down and up the opposite side. And then you just continue all the way down in between the layers and from down and up the opposite side. You can use any stitch you like. You can just go crazy with the needle and do whatever you want. I just like doing this mattress stitch. And we're all the way at the bottom, we weave in the end just a couple of times back and forth through the same stitches just to make sure it won't go up again. Then we cut the yarn. Then we turn it over and we're actually done. I think this came out very beautiful. You have a very beautiful alpine stitch alpaca headband right here. So I hope you found the tutorial easy to follow. If you did, please press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.